the sun is out and it's supposed to be a beautiful day. However, the temperatures are only a high of 40 and uh, the wind's been gusting up a little bit today. Otherwise, I think it's gonna be a great day. I'm Kathleen Pate, and this is my Alabama farm life. I just had a whole, uh, I'm gonna say flock of crows fly over. Um, I don't know what they were chasing or harassing earlier, but apparently they gave up and flew away. So no more crow sounds in the background. Up, oh. well, in the distance, maybe. Oh, even though it's gonna be a little cold today, I still have a lot of work that I need to do outside. We have something that's under the house and uh, we need to figure out what it is and work on getting rid of it. So I'm gonna be walking around the house, looking at the tin, fixing the tin, and uh, hopefully getting rid of whatever is bumping and knocking under the house at night. I'm just gonna be doing some general maintenance to the chicken coop area, cleaning and uh, rearranging a few things. And, uh, I need to get into my greenhouse, so I'll do a little update on that. It's still too cold for seedlings, but I think everything needs a good watering. I haven't watered anything in a while. I had a yeah, bucket of water in there, and it was really good at keeping it moist, but I've uh, since moved it, and I can tell that my plants are starting to get dry, so I need to take care of that today. So we have something that is under the house and it's making noises at night and I need to figure out what's going on with it. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, moving some of the tins up against the house and see if we can figure out what's uh, what it is and if we can get rid of it. problem right there. What do you smell in there? Watch out. So <laughs> I've set my chicken coop cam in front of the entrance there to the house. Um, my mother-in-law, Eleanor, really wants to know what's going in and out. She wants to make sure what that whatever it is is out before I fix it. So I'm just gonna leave that there for a little while and find other things that I can do around the farm because there's, there's a lot of things I can be doing right now. I'm back here in my greenhouse and I actually left my heater on and uh, it was like 90 plus degrees in here, not quite 100, but pretty warm. I don't think the plants are minding those temperatures at all. They all seem to be pretty healthy and perky. I have a few that need water, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna give everybody a little drink of water. Perfect example are these peppers, although they are growing really nicely. I've got some leaves on everything. 
except for one. One of them doesn't look too good. And uh, these house plants, they're dry. Spider plant, it's needing some love. That actually didn't take long at all. About maybe eight minutes, 10 tops. So everything got a good drink. Hopefully that spider plant will perk up. It uh, wasn't wilty, but you could tell it needed some water. My aloe seems to be doing pretty good. I moved that kale outside because it seemed to me that the soil was a little bit too moist. But uh, it dried out real, real quick outside, so I'm gonna bring that back in here. Um, we're getting down into the high 20s tonight. So I'll bring them in so they'll be okay. As it starts to cool off this afternoon, I'll come back in here and uh, turn my heater back on so that it gets a fighting chance to sit, stay warm. I'm pretty sure this little heater that I have right here will keep it above freezing. It's was a little $30 uh, heater that I picked up from uh, Tractor Supply, and it has worked a lot better than the other two that I tried in here originally. I don't think if it got into the teens, it would keep it from freezing, but uh, for what we have here, it's, it's adequate. It's keeping the greenhouse above freezing, and that's all I need it to do right now, so. I've been keeping the electric fencing on, trying to keep my little hens inside, and it's been working. We have had no escapes recently, which makes me very happy. So I decided to work over here a little bit, see if I can get the door open. And uh, there's roots in the way, but I can get it open pretty far actually see inside. So this is everything that I have to pull out of here. And if you notice, there is a lot of blacksmithing tools in here. And of course, then I have the big gaping holes in the ceiling. So, and at one time there was electricity out here and maybe I can get it strung up here again. I don't know. That is maybe a 2022 project, we'll see. It's amazing how curious chickens are. I think if I left the door open, they'd be in there scoping it out. I really need to start working on getting that old coop cleaned out but um, that's not gonna be a project that I'm gonna do today. As I'm standing here looking at it, I think I can pull the fence down one afternoon, pull the tractor up in there, and I can load up a lot of the uh, heavy stuff into my bucket and use my tractor to do all my heavy work for me. But uh, like I said, that's gonna be for another day. It amazes me how quickly everything builds up against that little fence line of that coop. I've been trying to keep it clear because I'm afraid the wood's rotting, so. I think that's what I'm gonna work on now, getting all this stuff. This is 
the chicken coop that the uh, chickens roost in at night. Um, I just cleaned most of the poop out of it, but um, I try not to let it get too bad in there. Nothing like adding nice fertilized hay, chicken poop, soil, stuff into your compost pile. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day, but not the. <laughs> Nothing like reality. Uh, I want to wait and see what I get on my camera overnight, if I get anything at all, and then give you an update. <laughs> oh, nothing like an adrenaline rush. All right, so we'll pick up right back here in the morning. Okay, our little experiment failed last night. The only thing that set off my uh, camera were the chickens. Eleanor heard some noises last night and we turned the camera on to look and see what was going on. And we saw absolutely nothing. Nothing moved, nothing set off the camera, nothing. So we're not sure if it's rats possum, raccoons, or what, but um, they're not using that entrance to come in and out. So now my job is to figure out where they are coming in and out from, and uh, that's going to be another video. So everybody have a great day.